Hello all and uh, thank you for joining us for Tuesday afternoon's uh, Radical Relationships. I hope you've all had a good day and I hope that you've been equipped and encouraged and strengthened in the Lord. But before we go into today's um, message, let's just open up in prayer. Heavenly Father, thanks for today. We just give you all the praise and glory for every step of the, the way that you have with us. And we just ask that you continue to impart these little truths and uh, verses that will be able to encourage us, be able to equip us and be able to, uh, to allow us to see your glory. So Heavenly Father, as we look at today's radical relationship, we just ask that the relationships that we have can be improved, and go deeper and more intimate, not only with you, but with each other. So we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so we're looking at uh, Philippians today. And um, yesterday we looked at uh, what Paul said with regards to being in, with, with the Colossians in spirit, even though he wasn't with them physically. And he, he also exhorted them in terms of being in Christ and looking up. But let's have a look at what uh, Philippians 2 says. And it's talking about the unity through humility. Taking from verse 1 in chapter 2. Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affliction and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each other esteem each other's better than himself. Let each of you look at not only how you do look out for your own interests, but also for the interests of the others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery but uh, to be equal to God, but made himself no of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of man. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. And then it goes on to talk about uh, being highly exalted amongst the nations. But let's have a quick look at a kingdom dynamic. One accord. And yeah, this is the power of unity that Paul keeps on referring to. And he, the Apostle Paul had a deep commitment to spiritual unity. He told the Philippians... Uh, Christians that they would fulfill his joy if they would be like-minded and of one accord and of one mind. This is consistent with the fervent prayer of our Lord Jesus as he prayed for spiritual unity as found in John 17 verses 20. It is also consistent with the experience of the early church in Acts chapter 2 verses 42 and with the teachings of the apostles found in Ephesians chapter 4 verses 3 and 6. So while we look at that and while we acknowledge that we are all different and unique in our own ways, we all struggles, uh, have our own struggles, which we don't know what other, everyone else is going through. But what we can do is pray for each other, be there for each other, exhort one another and build up the body of Christ so that he may be exalted above all. Look, you know, um, I just want to re-emphasize relationships comes with its great uh, benefits and and challenges but you know if we are, are humble like Christ was and it talks about that also in another uh, kingdom dynamic which talks about humility then it allows us the opportunity to be able to bear with one another and just uh, get more intimate with one another as we do with Christ so I just want to encourage you in this afternoon of radical relationships Try and find something that you can find about somebody else that you didn't know before that you may be able to then get into a more intimate relationship with them. And likewise with the Word. Go into the Word and see what you can find that you haven't found before. So Heavenly Father, as we wrap up today's radical relationships, Lord, we ask you to just uh, encourage everybody to uh, be humble and in unity be there for one another so that we can understand each other better through communication, trust and discussions. So Heavenly Father, as we come to you and we open our hearts out to you, Lord, let us speak to each other with psalms and, and praises and worship because that's what you ask of us, so that we can shine your light because you are the light of the world. So Heavenly Father, as we close for today, we just thank you for the time and we thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, Amen. 
Right guys, see you tomorrow.